Well, that is the deafening sound on board a C-130 plane used by the hurricane hunters who fly directly into the eye of the storm. A sound so loud you need to spend all your time in the air wearing earplugs. But once you get there, just look at this incredible view that we're about to show you that Lauren Rowdencrest showed us on her social media page. She got a once in a lifetime experience here to make that trip along with our photojournalist Jeff Renfro. So here's the report, one you'll only see right here on First Coast News. All right, so we are here at Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi, where we are ready to fly this WC-130J and fly into the eye of Hurricane Dorian. This is a newer aircraft. This plane was built in 98, which is new in Air Force standards. The aircraft that we were flying back when I first started flying this mission, they were built in 1965. We're excited, but we can't hear anything, so we got to put our earplugs in. This will be my first time flying in Doria. So when a hurricane hunter asks if you've never flown in a hurricane and you say no, they hand you this. Motion sickness bag. Just talking to one of the other crews that landed, you know, it was a little bumpy, but he goes, it wasn't anything too rough. What they experienced on those passes may be different than what, what we experienced. When a storm threatens land, the hurricane hunters are constantly flying in and out of tropical cyclones. Our crew for this flight is made up of seven Air Force reservists. This is my 19th year flying this mission. Also aboard the plane, two researchers with the Navy. We are headed east right now. We are just coming on to the west side of Florida right now. Our mission, to investigate Major Hurricane Dorian. We're going to start out here at 105 nautical miles from the northwest entry point, and we're going to go in. We're going to fix the center of the storm. We'll fly out another 105, and then we'll do a crosswind lake. We'll come up this way, and then we'll come back down, and we're going to do this again. So we'll be in the environment for five hours. And we'll be collecting data throughout the entire 12 plus hour flight. It's been about three hours that we've been in flight and now it's getting really bumpy. We're actually hitting the eye wall of Dorian, the second penetration so far. Time to buckle up. We're going to have to probably do a little deviation. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. But then all of a sudden, a sense of calm. So as we're following this millibar level, we actually descend down into the eye of the storm. The deeper the pressure in the storm, the closer you get to the surface. We are in the core of one of the most powerful hurricanes to impact the northwestern Bahamas. First pass through the eye is right around sunset. We see blue sky above us, towering cumulonimbus surrounding us on all sides. One very important job on the Hurricane Hunter is the Loadmaster. His job is to launch these drop zones that provide critical data for forecasters to predict hurricanes and what the atmosphere is doing. They actually get put in this tube and launch straight down to the ocean. Today we dropped about 25, so we dropped a, a little bit more than we usually do. Now we're at the back of the plane where they are inserting an AXBT. It's basically measuring the water temperature with depth. Because hurricanes get their energy from the ocean. They're like engines and their fuel is the heat in the water. Data from these buoys tells us the water under our plane is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which is plenty of fuel to continue feeding this monster of a cyclone. Understanding more about how much heat is available for the hurricane to take up and how that changes with time as the hurricane passes could hopefully lead to increases in forecast accuracy. Bottom line, this mission saves lives. If we weren't out here, that forecast code would be 25% larger. And we're doing exactly what we've been trained not to do and fly into, you know, the most intense weather that Mother Nature's created. Meteorologist Lauren Routenkranz alongside photographer Jeff Renfro, First Coast News, on your side.